Good evening, this is Ken Long from Torch Capital with a quick look at the market health check for December 21st, 2010. Um, we're looking back at the 10, 20, and 30 day time periods by the blue lines. Uh, the horizontal red lines are uh, crucial support lines uh, of the last 30 days. Uh, the black lines form the channel around the 30-day regression line. You can see price pulling away from the regression line. It, uh, it held above 123, took out the high of the doji uh, on Monday, and is powering north with no resistance overhead. Right now for the Washington ADX Redskins, is increasing and goes. is approaching the 25, is that Donovan which makes McNabb is going to be released officially a strong bullish trend. And then, of course, trend. they're going to have to go back in the mix to try We've to find something. That it's still since. doubtful that Rex Grossman uh, can do came out from under. 15 and hooked back up. So that was a pretty good signal. Thanks to Chuck LeBeau, the master. Uh, we are still overbought and remain overbought for a long period of time. Uh, really, there's nothing much to say other than price is pulling away from the 20, which is pulling away from the 50, which is pulling away from the 200, and no resistance overhead. It's long and strong in the U.S. Out. Uh, I want to shift gears now and take year. a look at a uh, our to latest uh, and be part of a emerging technique for a quarterback position. But at this stage, with uh, you know, timing intraday trades, I think this is, uh, we're taking a look back. at SLV, which is the silver Remember, ETF, see? and it, it closed yesterday um, here, uh, a little, about 28.80, and there was a big gap down and then a harsh sell-off. Let me scroll this down just a little bit for you. And the, uh, the things that we're looking at now is uh, we've got two indicators set up. The first one is uh, Williams Tana Percent Moss R10. Is a free agent, so these are on, uh, and they these are on three minute work candles. To do on the and then line. the MACD Mike histogram job with the idea of taking uh, the using the default hey, settings of 12, to get much worse 9, and 26. It gets much so better. fast moving Could average of 12, for the New York Giants slow moving average of 26, and this Sunday in the new nine period smoothing constant, which forms the zero line. And so what we're noticing is that uh, <clears throat> Williams percent R, because it's looking back 10 three-minute candles, it has a 30-minute memory, uh, and it's finding the high and the low in that period of time. It will right give you now, the first signal when it gets to an extreme. To the fact and because we like the morning hook, card, they have to um, be green what we can see is that, that it, that, after you know, the gap down, the to go that was uh, one more lower than the 10 previous candles surprise. from the day before. Never so Williams percent R already starts off at a very uh, oversold uh, condition and stays there uh, throughout those first 10 minutes. That's the first three big candles. In uh, all that time, uh, because it's failing faster than it was uh, holding steady yesterday, that means the fast-moving average uh, is pulling away from the slow-moving average on MACD histogram. And so those red bars are getting uh, taller. Uh, or deeper, if you will. And it's not until we're about, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, segments into the market, about 21 minutes into Plus, the, uh, Coughlin, into the morning session, that we get the first the uptick hunter, particularly after Dodge on MACD histogram. And, the and that ball corresponds to Jackson this price action here, where you can see so after the gap down, kind of harsh sell-off, stabilization, so forms this little doji in here, and then we get that first big green candle up. Uh, that's already where we're seeing uh, uh, timing indication that the uh, that it's we can start buying a breakout of the previous candle, and so the uh, you know a penny above the Doji is where uh, I made my entry this morning at 28.46. Uh, even with a 10 cent stop, it was never seriously challenged. Uh, about one, two, three, four, five. May have been blocked. He's had three minute candles all later, so 15 minutes of open they risk. Love his as, talent, but uh, he as it starts to move up, to I go ahead and move to, and move to no lose condition. Uh, it be moves along nicely. When it makes many, another little breakout, years. I raise my stop and again. Finally, so it locks in, in about a half an hour. Uh, and we end up uh, getting a nice uh, exit out here at 2857 uh, for a little over uh, one R net. Uh, as price starts pulling back, uh, you can see what happens again. Williams percent R starts failing when it's in this shelf. You can see it failing here. And then it comes down to an extreme condition again. And that's when we start looking for the next 
uh, the next signal, which is an uptick on MACD histogram. You can see now MACD histogram like year, was slowing down here. As price was going no sideways, MACD, example, the difference Todd between Haley the fast and the slow end up getting moving the average starts to disappear, comes down just below. He's gone in, and then we get an uptick right here, which means you can buy the next breakout. And so we end up buying, again, a penny above the previous candle's uh, high. And uh, we get an entry at 28.58. And with a 10 cent stop, and this one later turns into about uh, one and a half hour win uh, when silver uh, goes up to 28.75 uh, and, and then pulls back a little bit. And so uh, this, is the, this is the technique then. There's really three components of it. You wait for, or at least what I do is I wait for an extreme Williams percent R. Then I look for an uptick in MACD histogram preferably below the signal line because that tells me uh, it's washed out and there's really room for it to go. Criticism. I know I criticize and then I wait for Try price to say, action okay, to confirm. I want to see Cobb. a completed they candle and then this candle take out the previous the candle's high. Is, and then I'm in with a, morning, morning, uh, with a totally reasonably tight stop Michael Vick uh, and, and I get to know who's as quickly as I can. And then we just see what happens with it. So that's a quick look at our emerging technique for timing the morning hook and defining it using three minute candles, Williams percent R10, and MACD histogram. Thanks for your attention and good trading.